Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So as you can see, this is a different recording format. I hope I hope and pray this method works. Wait, there's a part of the screen that's not visible. Okay, so on this video, we will be going through how to save your work the right way as you request it. So this is essentially how to go about printing your work or how to go about representing your work properly. And this is obviously work that you will now be submitting to your lecturer. I feel like my screen is skew or it's the camera. Okay, that's much better. The whole screen is visible, right? So this is the sample floor plan that I have worked on or that we did together on the channel. If you haven't seen it, um, I think try scrolling three videos before this. There's a part one, two, and three where we cover the floor plan, the roof plan, and the sectional elevation. Okay, so what you are going to do, so remember that once you access your drawing on the bottom right corner or shelf, the drawing scale or the scale that you're using should be scale one is to one. Okay, so just make sure that you are using a scale one is to one in there. And once you are happy with the work that you've done and you are sure that everything is complete, then you are going to access your layout, right? So either layout one or two, it shows the same thing until um, you're specified. So I tried recording this before and it didn't work. So you'll notice that my layout is already complete, but I'll add a brand new layout just so that I can explain to you guys what's happening so as soon as you open your layout space this is what it will look like you'll see more or less everything that you've done or if you can't see your work you can just double click within the grid right click pan command and move stuff around until you can see the work that you're actually trying to see okay or the work that you're trying to represent okay so you may have noticed that I double click within the grid when I want to make changes to the drawing or to the work that I've done. But if you do not wish to make changes, then double click right outside of the grid. Um, just make sure you remember that. So sometimes if you're trying to change stuff here and it's just not happening, then it may be because you haven't double clicked. Then another quick tip, um, whatever you want to change or add to your actual drawing, do it in the model space. Don't do it in the layout. This is because once you double click and move your stuff around, then maybe if you just added a text there, once you move the drawing, then now the text has moved or the drawing has moved away from the text that you were trying to represent. Okay, so step one to represent your work properly would be that whole gibberish I just said. Step two will be to specify our scale. So since on this particular drawing, we were... Coming up with dimensions as we're going, I'm just going to assume that we are using scale 1 is to 50 and we are using an ISO 83 paper, right? So first of all, double click within the grid. Why? Because we're trying to make changes to our drawing and how it appears. Then you'll notice when you come to this bottom corner here, you'll notice that it shows you the scale that your drawing is currently in. It's not a scale that you have picked or a scale that you have um chosen to work under it's just showing you based on how your work is zoomed in or out just based on how small or big your object currently is on screen you'll notice that as i make it bigger then our scale changes all right so our scale is 1 is to 50 you're gonna click on this arrow over here and then you're gonna say 1 is to 50 so you'll notice that it has made changes to how uh, how big our plans are now we just essentially need to maneuver to the parts that we're trying to work with I'm looking for one that looks a bit more complete. So this one looks a bit more complete Although it does not have dimensions yet Then once you're done and you are happy with how centered your work is so remember it has to be centered It must show and it must be centered. Okay, then you can double click right outside of that grid and this says, I'm happy with my work. I'm happy with how it appears. Okay. Then we're going to come to the page layout manager. So once you get to the layout, right at the bottom left corner, right click on the layout that you're working on and go to the page setup manager. And then make sure that it has selected the layout you're trying to make changes to and click on modify. Then when it asks your printer or plotter, we're trying to change our drawing or our DWG file to a PDF. So you're gonna click on the drop down menu. Then you're gonna scroll all the way down until you find DWG to PDF. 
then you're gonna click on it this is gonna plot your your paper into a pdf document all right then paper size we said we're gonna work with iso a3 so let's go to iso a3 so you'll notice that it gives you two sizes it's either it's in portrait or what's the other one <laughs> so who that other one so it's either it's this way where your paper is upright or it's this way where your paper is kind of on the long long way down so what we're trying to have is this setup like an a3 paper where you have the long side at the bottom okay i forgot the word but you guys understand where you have the long side at the bottom right then when it asks you what to plot you can say window so you get to specify what you want to show on your paper then i just like to specify the corners and then please make sure you click on fit to paper but i'll show you both options so that you know what the difference is so if you look on here it's showing you what your work versus the paper size you have specified currently looks like so the sh shaded area or the gridded area is your work or is your paper then this white space here is the rest of the paper it's just there waiting for i don't know what okay that's what happens when you don't say fit to paper when you say fit to paper then it fills the entire paper with your work all right so we could start start with the first one where it's not fit to paper say preview so you want to see how your work comes up and because i had already plotted it's already assuming what i want to do okay so once you click on the fit to paper command then it will fit it excuse me to paper throughout then um plot style table you can leave it for now we will get into it um at a later stage and then you can say okay then you can close then once you're happy with it that button up there it's either you use this compressed menu or this one down here it does the same thing so click on that then it's gonna say we notice that you have multiple drawings or layouts open batch plot or publish is available if you want to print everything at the same time but since we want to do stuff one at a time just to make sure you can say continue to plot a single sheet then it's going to bring up that menu again just to make sure you don't want to change anything then you're going to say okay then it's going to ask you to save it then you're going to say um you're going to give it a name so since you guys will be in a test in an exam setting in an assignment you probably have to name it as your student number and you'll probably have to put it inside the folder that you're supposed to save it in so you save it then it's gonna show you its progress on there and then that is essentially the finished product I hope the brightness is not confusing our camera but that is essentially what your work will look like okay let me just try closing that so it's visible so it will print or plot exactly what you wanted to print or plot as long as you have specified the correct settings i hope this helps if it doesn't feel free to let me know see you in the next one cheerio